changes around us? Class 6 Science Look at the given pictures and identify what has happened in each case. Child growing into an adult Water becoming steam Seed growing into a plant As you saw from the given pictures, changes take place all around us. Changes can be of different types. Let's learn about it today. Changes that occur around us can be broadly categorized as reversible or irreversible, depending on whether they can be reversed or not. Reversible changes What happens to ice cream if you do not finish it quickly? It melts. Can you change the molten ice cream back into a solid? Yes. Just keep it in the freezer. Thus, melting is a reversible change. Changes that can be reversed are called reversible changes. Melting of butter and chocolates are also reversible changes. What about changes such as condensation, freezing, and evaporation of materials? If you take out some ice cubes from the freezer and keep them outside, the ice cube will absorb heat from the surroundings and melt. When this water of molten ice is heated for some time, it starts boiling. Liquid starts to evaporate. And steam escapes from the container. Now, if you hold a lid over the container, the steam will again liquefy or condense into small droplets of water on coming in contact with the cold lid. This water can be cooled down further and then kept in the freezer to form ice again. Thus, the three physical states of water are reversible and can be changed from one state to another by heating or cooling. Irreversible change An irreversible change is a permanent change that cannot be undone. In an irreversible change, new substances are formed. There are a large number of irreversible changes that take place around us. Let's see the examples. Ripening of fruits is an irreversible change because it is not possible to get back the raw fruits from ripened ones. Blooming of flowers is an irreversible change because flowers cannot change back into buds. Curdling is an irreversible change. Curdling of milk is also done by adding lemon juice to milk for cottage cheese. Burning of paper is an irreversible change. A new substance is called ash, is left or formed after a paper is burnt. This new substance differs from the paper in its appearance and properties. Cooking food is also an irreversible change. Physical and chemical changes What happens when you tear a piece of paper into two pieces? You get smaller pieces of paper. But, they are still paper. This type of a change is called a physical change. Changes in which no new substances are formed are called physical changes. These changes do not result in the production of new substances. A physical change is generally observed during melting, freezing, condensing, breaking, crushing, cutting, and bending. Examples of physical changes are powdering of sugar, slicing, shredding, grating fruits, and vegetables, etc. All reversible changes and some irreversible changes are physical changes. For example, melting of butter is reversible. And also physical change, as there is only change of state from solid to liquid form. 
breaking of glass is irreversible, and also physical change, as glass cannot be reconstituted to its original shape. What would happen when you burn leaves? The leaves will change into some invisible gases, and ash. These new substances are not leaves. This type of change is called, a chemical change. Changes in which new substances are formed, are called chemical changes. In chemical change, the new substance formed, are very different, and they have entirely different properties. Example, burning of LPG, natural gas, candle wax, wood and coal, cooking of food, etc. Expansion and contraction of materials. Some materials expand on heating, and some contract on cooling. Heating makes the particle expand, or become loose. Cooling makes the particles contract, or become tight. The amount of expansion differs in solids, liquids, and gas. Gases expands the most, whereas solids expands the least. Expansion by heating can be used in several everyday activities. The jammed metal lid of a jam jar can be opened by heating. The fact that materials expand on heating, is used in thermometers. In many thermometers, mercury is used. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel, and do not forget, to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.